Hello everyone. How is your weekend going? I hope you're having a good day and a good Saturday. It's Saturday here today for me. So today I want to uh, talk about few facts that everyone should know before coming to Canada. And I can tell you that uh, at least four of them I didn't know myself. All right, so stay tuned. So here we go, the first one, obviously everyone thinks that Canada is cold and freezing and snowing all year round, but actually that's not true. So you have to see for yourself when you come here or if you, if you are already here, that there are four perfect seasons in Canada. And for me, I live in the East Coast which is known to be always windy and the uh, weather keeps changing and fluctuating the whole year. But still, there are really four seasons. So today or this month, we are definitely in the winter. And this winter, I can say, is not really too cold like before. But still, you get a proper winter with uh, snow, of course, and cold, minus uh, or below zero degrees in temperatures. But... Soon the spring will start and then after that you'll have a summer season which is uh, one of the best seasons here in Canada where you can go swimming and uh, hiking and doing all the outdoor activities that you would love to do. And then you will have a fall season where you will uh, notice the color of the leaves will start to change to yellow and red and pale green and then the trees will become uh, bare then the winter season will start so you actually have four or we have four winter seasons in Canada that was number one number two fact that you should know about is that medical coverage is not as comprehensive as what as what everyone thinks it is so you're covered for the basic uh, doctor visits and any uh, hospitalization that is required or prescribed by the doctor or surgeries that you will need but then pretty much everything outside of the scope is not covered so number one medicine so prescribed medicine or over-the-shelf medicine is not uh, covered any additional services like dental, dental is a big one. So dental is not covered. You will have a little bit of coverage uh, for uh, the kids. Uh, they will get some certain procedures covered or a yearly, uh, I think it's once a year for cleaning. Yeah, so that one also is covered. Apart from that, you will have to pay and it's quite expensive, dental. Then any other uh, like a chiropractor, uh, natural medicine, um, labs or blood work that is not prescribed by your family doctor, then everything you will have to pay for it or your insurance. So once you get a full-time job, they will provide you with insurance that um, will cover these things. And I'm going to make a video about this insurance because you have to know what to choose and you have to choose right. That was number two. Number three. So... You come from abroad with lots of credentials and big education. However, uh, your career and credential are not always recognized in Canada when you arrive. So you have to sometimes put them aside or forget your ego and start whichever job you can find. So your previous experience outside of Canada, uh, I would say 80 to 90 percent of the time, is not even mentioned or you will not even be asked about during interviews. So uh, it's sometimes frustrated, uh, frustrating when you come and have big hopes that you're going to use this big experience and big education that you have done. But the fact is that it's, not, it's rarely the case, actually. Okay, so number four in our list, the tag prices are not final. So if you come from a country that doesn't have um, HST or the tax, sales tax, then you will be surprised here and it's gonna feel like why the price is different when you go to the cashier to pay. It's always different except for um, 
food, food items, the other stuff that you buy, whatever tag you will see or tag price, you will have to add tax to that. So it's never final. So keep an extra um, money with you uh, when you go shopping. Okay. Higher education, that last one is about higher education and I think there is always a misunderstanding here in Canada. So um, you have public schools that provide free education uh, from KG to all the way to grade 12 to high school, but then higher education, universities, colleges are not free, even for citizens. So it's in province, out of province, and then whether you are an international student or a PR holder or a citizen, so they all have different rates. Obviously, when you are a PR holder or a citizen, then your rate is lower, um, uh, is lower substantially actually by uh, from the international students, but still it's never free. Okay. So this is what I had for today. Thank you very much for watching. I, uh, I just mentioned five of all these facts and Next, I think I'm going to talk or do a series about job hunting because I think it's uh, important, if not the most important uh, thing that um, people will want to know about. And it's something that I can speak about very well because I have gone through the process myself and I can give you some good tips. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day or evening or weekend and see you in the next video. Bye.